truth. Israel seeks peace. Israel yearns for peace. Israel has made peace and will make peace again. here he wanted to make a deal more than Netanyahu and I, I will be honest uh, I had a great meeting with him Abbas right I had a great meeting with him and we spent a lot of time together talked about many things and it was almost like a father I mean he was so nice couldn't have been nicer and after meeting with Bibi for Three minutes. I looked at him and said, you don't want to make a deal, do you? And he said, well, uh, 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 and the fact is, I don't think Bibi ever wanted to make a deal. Why? I thought the Palestinians were impossible, that the, the Israelis would do anything to make peace and a deal. I found that not to be true. The acting leader of Hezbollah has made his first televised speech. Naim Qasim pledged to continue the militant group's fight against Israel while adding the fate of his country, Lebanon, is inseparable from that of Palestine. We cannot separate Lebanon from Palestine, nor the region from Palestine. Did Israel not officially and directly occupy Lebanon in 1978? Did the occupation not return in 1982 after Resolution 425? And they only left through resistance. Why did they continue to occupy Lebanon? They created the South Lebanese Army, wanting to establish the South Lebanon state in preparation to later become Israeli settlements, but it did not succeed. Then they returned in 2006 to advance in the southern region with the aim of occupying it, but failed. So Lebanon is part of the Israeli expansion project. Whenever Israel feels capable of expanding, it will expand here. In your international headlines this midday, in the Middle East, ground clashes between Israel forces and Hezbollah along southern Lebanon mountains is spreading. Now the UN is getting caught in the crossfire. And this is an, as efforts from around the world continue to focus on confirming a ceasefire deal. Fox News correspondent Nate Foy has more from Tel Aviv. Ground clashes between Israeli forces and Hezbollah spread across the border region Thursday. The UN peacekeeping force in Lebanon says an Israeli tank and possibly a drone fired on several of its facilities. Two UNIFIL workers are reportedly injured. Safety and security of the peacekeepers is a shared responsibility. The parties have an obligation to respect the safety of sec and security of peacekeepers. Diplomats from the United States and other countries are intensifying discussions about a possible ceasefire deal, while Israel maintains it will do whatever is necessary to return residents to their homes in the north. And Hezbollah provides resistance to Israel's ground offensive. We will not beg the Israeli enemy nor the international community for a ceasefire. The aggressor is the one the international community should be pressuring to stop the aggression. The entire region remains on high alert. Israel still hasn't responded to Iran's massive ballistic missile strike last week. The Israeli security cabinet will meet Thursday to discuss a possible response. Our attack will be lethal, precise, and above all, surprising. They will not understand what happened and how it happened. They will see the results. Meanwhile, the fighting continues in Gaza, with an Israeli airstrike killing at least 27 people at a former school sheltering displaced Palestinians. Israel says it was really a Hamas command center. In Tel Aviv, Nate Foy, Fox News. The Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin, the architect of the Middle East peace process, has been assassinated. The assassin, a right-wing Israeli Jew, Yigal Amir. 
Truly shocking news from the Middle East tonight. Israel's Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin has been assassinated. The evening spent dreaming of peace turns into a national nightmare. Outside the hospital, the crowd began to chant, Bibi is a murderer. The sign says, Bibi, Rabin's blood is on your hands. An assassin has taken yet another world leader away from us. It was just after the biggest peace rally in Tel Aviv. Rabin's widow blamed Netanyahu for contributing to her husband's death. Of Yitzhak Rabin has also produced shock in the Palestinian community. And said so on worldwide television. Your husband pointed the finger at Mr. Netanyahu and said, you must stop this incitement. Yeah. To what extent do you blame Mr. Netanyahu and the Likud for what has happened? I do, I do blame them. In a rally in Kikar Zion in Jerusalem, that showed him in the uniform of a Nazi. So Mr. Bibi Netanyahu, now he can say from here to eternity that he didn't support it and didn't agree with it, but he was there. This is the book of First Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Call Holayim La, Abanawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Kwadash. Double honor to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you, speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And that's, you know, Esau's philosophy. That's his smooth way is, you know, to speak peaceable words and speak of pleasant days and peace being upon the earth and unity and all this bullshit, all this nonsense. But in the background, Okay, in the midst of him ha having that speech in the background and the things that you don't see, he's shedding blood. He's causing mayhem, chaos, man. Okay, and that's what's basically going to happen, man. You know, netting, you know, not a not a J double O is basically, you know, having those smooth, uh, 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 buttery, oily words, man. You know, being very uh, crafty in his speech, man. But in his mind, which is your heart. You know, he's he's imagining how to overthrow the nations to stay on top. OK. And, you know, uh, so like you throw water to the uh, beloved uh, up and coming elder uh, GMS Vegas sit down. Uh, Karat Karat is out for uh, doing this. I grabbed this from his channel. You know, the spirit just jumped on me to do something on it. because It was so heavy. But um, yeah, man, again, let's read this one more time. First Thessalonians chapter five, verse three, verse three. For when they shall say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction, and that's what he's saying, man. Israel's, Israel's about peace. Israel's about safety. Israel's about that. But yet, you know, you, because these Israelis is the uh, leader of the Edomite nation. They're the least of the flock that's, that's in control of the whole world, okay? And not only them, but they're, you know, they're other tribesmen, you know, the other Edomites, they're, they're the cancer and the, uh, 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 the issue of the earth, man. You know, with these people, you know, being taken out of order and also these other heathens that aren't that are in cahoots with them, you know, when uh, our nation being set up, set up in righteousness with Yahweh Shah Mashiach and King David in the 12 and uh, obviously the 144,000 governing body, everything will be put back in its rightful order, man. OK, the, the earth will go through uh, restoration. The, uh, the, the heathens will go through uh, 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 their restoration of learning righteousness. Okay, no, it will actually be peace upon earth, man. It won't be no deceit, no fraud. Okay, no smooth words. It'll only be truth and righteousness flourishing, man. Okay, but let's let's continue because um the brother put something on the on the comment on uh, Slacky the screen. I want to grab that too. Cause that goes perfectly with this lesson. Uh, this is Psalms chapter 55. Bear with me. Psalms chapter 55. I'm gonna start off at verse 20. He have put forth his hands against as such as be at peace with him. 
he have broken his covenant. And, and this is something that the so-called subclaimed white man uh, cannot do, man. He can't keep an, a, an agreement. He can't keep a, a, a covenant, an alliance, peace. OK, because, you know, if he, if he feels like you're equal to him or if you're going to prosper more than him, then that's an issue, man. And if he feels like you're having too much of the pie or if you're having uh, too much, uh, 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 too much comfort, too much uh, uh, relaxation, too much, uh, you know, uh, of a careless spirit, like you're not sweating like the Israelites and these other poor nations upon the earth, man, then that's a problem for him, man. You know, and that, and that coven that he makes with you people is only for a certain decree, a degree. So like a decree, so like you. It's only for a certain decree. OK, because, you know, again, you know, in his again, as we're going to read on verse 21, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. So those words that he speak when he's making those covenants, those uh, agreements, those alliances. OK, they have the most smooth, <coughs> comforting words, man. You know, all we we're gonna we're gonna do uh, good business together. You know, these people about you know about the unity, this and that, blah blah blah. But yet it's all deceit, okay? Because he's crouching. But as soon as you sit him beside you, what's gonna happen? He's gonna overthrow you. Roughly paraphrasing a uh, uh, Sirach twelve uh, uh, on down, okay? Maybe I believe in like verse twelve on down or something like that, somewhere around there, okay? But once you place him beside you, he'll overthrow you, and that's what these devils devils do, man, okay? Psalm 55, verse 20 from the top. He have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. Okay, as as not a J double O. He was saying, Israel seeks peace. We're about peace. No, the so-called self-proclaimed white man is about mayhem, bloodshed, okay, chaos, oppression, vexation, taking away peace from the earth. And we're gonna grab that precept. He have broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. So why he's speaking all this? Because, you know, Esau has a forked tongue. So when he, why he's speaking all these lovable, uh, unified words and, you know, making it seem like, you know, you're going to have some type of uh, inheritance on the earth. You're going to have some type of uh, wealth built from your family and all these other things that you really think that you're going to be able to establish. This devil is literally why he's speaking these things to you. Matter of fact, shit, excuse me, before he before he even speak these things to you, he already has a plan orchestrated to take your ass down and how he's going to do it to cover his tracks and make it seem like it's not him, but it's somebody else or, or any other way that he sees fit. OK, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn sore. So, again, you know, these Edomites aren't stupid. Okay, they're very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? They're very, um, <clears throat> I can't think, where is it? It's, it's in my head, but I can't think of which one it is. But they, they're very, uh, they're very, uh, 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 let's just say crafty. They're very crafty with their uh, tactics, man. But let's continue because the Lord is, you know, he's been, you know, showing you these devils, showing you who these devils really are. But now he's really revealing them and they're being uncovered, you know, via by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, through the prophets. This is Luke chapter 12, verse two, for there is nothing covered. OK, because what was covered by these these people, the history. OK, the, 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 the true breakdowns of the Bible, the true the true people that's supposed to be in the land of Israel, which is not, you know, those uh, 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 tic tac uh, uh, rat looking people, man. OK, the people that, you know, they they, didn't, they enslaved in here in the Americas, uh, starting with the uh, so-called African-Americans, Latino, Hispanics, whatever you have, whichever one you want to state them as and the native and Seminole Indians, man. OK, you know, when uh, uh, the usury, you know, the, the taxation. OK, all these things that this man has done that made it seem like he's righteous and it made it seem like he's above all nations that you have to pay him due diligence. OK, for even letting you exist to putting himself as a, uh, a, a, a as a God upon earth, man. OK, for there was nothing covered that shall not be revealed. OK, and the, 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 uh, the man of perdition, the wicked is being revealed as we speak. Neither head, okay, his agendas, his plans is being revealed by the prophets because the Lord has revealed and unlocked these secrets and given it to his men. 
okay, to, to warn the people, to uh, uh, condemn them, okay, to, to leave them asked out and to say, hey, this is what it, this is what it is. And the only ones that's going to receive this message and take heed to this message is the predestinated elect, man. Okay, neither hid that shall not be known, and everything is being known again. The history, the true history. Okay, all the lies are, are literally being demolished with the truth in every single aspect of life, man. Okay, everything. Okay, we, we you know, the, 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 all the things that, that has happened throughout history, you know, uh, again, 9 11, all these other things, uh, uh all, all these wars, what, what they really. What they really were uh, uh, fighting over, you know, and uh, everything else. Because this man, you know, when he goes into war for certain places, it's really for like your resources. Okay, he wants he wants the resources in that land. And then he wants to set up garrisons, you know, which is embassies in this day to uh, keep that land in his in his stronghold and in, in his control. Okay. But see, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of you uh, uh, Babylonians, you, you Americans don't realize what this man is really doing and what he's about. Let's continue because the Lord is revealing everything, man. Okay, let's go to the book of Sirach. And, you know, we just hope and pray, pray to just prosper and it keeps on, you know, elevating, man. You know, that we get closer to being get, to getting d delivered from this, uh, this hell hole, man. This place is a fucking nightmare, man. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 11, starting off at verse 31. For he layeth in wait. And turned if good into evil. So, you know, that also refers to him saying, so like to the scripture stating, it, it says, uh, and if he do with it any good, he doeth it unwillingly. And at the end, he, and at the last, he will show forth his wickedness, man. Okay. So again, that also goes in him, you know, speaking smooth, soft, uh, buttery words, man. You know, making you feel like he's about peace, making you feel like, he, like he's about being united when really he's, you know, already has a plan and he, and even going into more depths in his brain, which is your heart to how to conquer more and how to, to uh, cause more uh, bloodshed and uh, 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 mayhem, man. OK, so rock 11, verse 31, for he lieth in wait and turneth good into evil and in things worthy praise will he lay blame upon thee. So, you know, things worthy of praise, a prime example, you know, you're supposed to defend yourself. If people attack you, attack you uh, uh, is literally at the point showing forth the action of them shedding, you know, uh, 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 your nation's blood, killing your children, your wife. You know, they'll they'll make it seem like you're a terrorist for you doing what's right for you fighting to, to, to uh, 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 save your nation, save your family. OK, to have, you know, something. To, to, to keep your legacy and your foundation uh, prospering on the earth, man. You know, for you, for you being righteous, for you establishing order in your uh, 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 landmass, you know, for you having your women in order, you know, which is supposed to be uh, praised by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, for you having, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, uh, the instructions and guidelines of the Heavenly Father, you know, uh, uh, steadily being rehearsed and steadily being informed so like you're enforced so like you're enforced and you know he'll, he'll put blame on you like that's evil you know all you know just a few examples you know okay but yeah again but yet if you fight if you fight to you know to live and to you know uh, protect your kids your wife your, your family members your nation you're the terrorist okay verse Sirach 11 verse 32 of a spark of a flame Salakia, Sirach 11, verse 32, of a spark of fire, a heap of coals is kindled and a sinful man layeth in wait for blood. And that's what these devils are doing, man. They're eager to uh, uh, shed blood, man. They're eager to cause, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, the downfall of nations, man. Okay. Period, man. Verse 33. Take heed of a mischievous man, for he worketh wick wickedness, lest he bring upon thee a petrol blot. And that's the MO, man. So, you know, this 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 clown is speaking all these, oh, here's sick and beast. We're about this. We're about that. And that's what it is. It's bullshit, man. I want to kill as many as you motherfuckers as possible, man. 
Okay, we, we, we want the world to be in the palm of our hands. We want to have, you know, complete control over how you speak, how you move, how you think. We want to control your whole life. This what, what we're doing right now is not enough. It's not enough. This man is greedy, man. He wants your soul. He wants your spirit. He wants to know what you're thinking, man. He wants to be God-like. He wants to be like Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. And and guess what? He's working wickedness to a uh, uh, prosper in his agenda, and he will damn sure not, damn sure not hesitate to shed a motherfucker's blood. Okay, just like Malcolm X said, by any means necessary, these Edomites and these fucking uh, uh, rats really mean that shit. By any means necessary. <clears throat> but let's continue. I, said, I quoted something earlier, so let's grab it now. Uh, Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him. Okay, and that horse that that, 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 that represents is these Edomites, man, because uh, they're red. You know, different shades of red, uh, pink, which is also a, a derivative of red. Because their blood shows forth through their skin. You know, they out in the sun, they get red. You smack the hell out of them, they get red. Okay? They're, they're the real colored people, if you think about it. Because actually, when, a, when an Edomite passes away, they, they can't, their body can't get preserved that long. Okay? They, they have to get buried, uh, I think, within a week. And they start to uh, uh, change the different colors and shit. Uh, Revelation 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat there on to take peace away from the earth. So to take peace from the earth. So again, they, 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 you hear this uh, this conversation in this clip that the beloved elder did, which I got from him. No, for what again? He's talking. They're talking about peace, but in actual reality, they don't give a damn about peace. At least for y'all. Okay, they're gonna live peaceful. No, and it also states in the book of Proverbs chapter 4, I believe verse 16 on down, that they can't even sleep. They can't even uh, have any rest, any peace of mind, unless they cause uh, some type of grievous, horrific, hellish condition upon the earth. They have to oppress. They have to vex. They have to conquer and devour, okay, in the midst of their rulership, all right? It's, it's part of their DNA. That's how the Lord built them. That's how the Lord made them. So with them uh, being in, in a, a rulership, there's no, such, there's no such thing as peace for the citizens of the earth. No such thing. But for them, are they going to have peace? Of course. They have everything. They have the world in the palm of their hands. But guess what? It's still not enough. They want it all. Okay, they want you. To bow down to them. They want you to call them God. Again, they want to be able, they want to, they want to uh, implant a uh, 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 organism in you, okay, which is the RFID uh, uh, micro hip in you to monitor your, your, your body temperature, whether you're sick, whether you're healthy, okay, your thoughts, when you're defecating, when you're urinating, when you're busting one off with your woman, okay. When, when, when you're not feeling so chipper, when you're sad, when you're mad, when you're happy, all this. They want to know everything. They don't want to know your thoughts. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, they even said it's going to come to the point where you're going to be able to cast your vote for a president by thinking it. Yes. I mean, y'all better catch up, man. Okay, continuing on. Revelation 6 verse 4, continuing on. And that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. Okay, and that sword is not only the modern day gun and the actual sword, a machete, etc., a knife. No, that sword is also that that the, the the pen. Okay, where they bring forth these unrighteous decrees, these legislations, uh, uh, these laws, uh, these constitutional uh, decrees, all these things, man. These new uh, HR such and such, HR this and HR that, all these things that they bring forth. That pen is a weapon too, man. Because again, not only do they speak those small, uh, like a soft, 
oily, buttery words. They write that shit down. And then in the midst of those seven paid 745 or 900 and something or 1200 pages, you'll have one or two sections that really has the whole plan in it. Okay. And that's part of that war, man. Bringing forth uh, a certain laws, certain decrees, legislations and all that to, to, uh, 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 to give them because really they don't they don't have a conscience they really don't give a shit but to give them uh an excuse for what they're doing oh see it's right here in this it's right here in this law that was uh written up by such and such when such and such was in office it's right here so you know we're uh justified in doing this we're not doing nothing wrong to you people we're helping you we're doing this we're doing that okay well, let's close out the points made these bastards are, are, are just wicked man they wicked as shit Okay, but we know that you know we have to wait on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and and and, and further and first and foremost, everything is being uh, orchestrated and uh, ordained and uh, handled and manifested by the Lord. Yeah, you know. So, hey man, call all y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakak Uh This is uh, Sirach chapter eight, verse sixteen. Strive not with an angry man, okay? Because Esau is a psychopath, man. He's a mad science, okay? He's a, a a fucking uh man of genocide. He's a man of uh he's a tyrant. So like he's a, he's just everything that you that you wouldn't want to be uh, uh uh under a person to have them rule over you, to guide you or direct you, man. Okay? Because at the end of the day, they're uh they're the, they're also a, a clear definition of se uh, being selfish, man. All right? Sirach chapter 8 verse 16 strive not with an angry man and go not with him into a solitary place so you know solitary places you know basically a place by yourself okay but you know it really doesn't it really doesn't make a damn difference whether you be by yourself or uh matter of fact let me see real quick because i don't want to give off the wrong definition so Terry, let me see. Uh, you know what? Sometimes Google don't be hidden. Let's go to the etymology real quick, cause I want to make sure I'm, I'm saying the right definition for that for that word, solitary. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, solitary uh, etymology online, alone or by oneself or itself, living alone. Okay, alone, lonely, isolated. Okay, loneliness, solitude. Yeah, so I was correct. Sirach eight verse sixteen. Strive not with an angry man, and go not with him into a solitary place. For blood is as nothing in his sight, and where there is no help. He will overthrow thee. And, and again, it, it, you hear him talking about peace. Peace, 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 peace. And as you heard, Donald Trump said, you know, I went to go talk to him and then I asked him about peace. And, you know, he's, well, uh, 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 you don't want a deal. No, he want, they want bloodshed, man. Again, they want to conquer and rule the earth, man. There's no such thing as peace when it comes to these people. And when it comes to bloodshed, they desire it. They look forward to it. Matter of fact, they're going to, uh, uh, they're looking for it. Salakia. They're looking for, forward to shedding blood, man. Again, this is how Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai crafted and built them. So this, it's only going to get worse. And we just waiting for the least of the flock, which is, which is these rats. Okay. These you wishes over there in our land, draw in, uh, 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 uh these Babylonians and these other troops over there. For Armageddon to the valley of Yahweh Shapat, so these prophecies can speed up and we can get the hell up out of here. I don't want to rock the side we're all of, that, we're of that predestinated number, man. Because again, like I said, like I stated before, the Most High is just preheating that oven. And then once, once that oven gets to that correct temperature that the Most High wants it to get to, he's going to flood, he's going to flood that oven again. You know, it's it's a knowledge, but you know, you would put the food in there. But in this case, that food is going to be these Babylonians and these other heathen nations to come in uh, to get judged, man. 
Okay, so I don't want to write this out, man. I hope and I pray that this was edifying, uplifting, and informative to the true sincere Aki and Wa Akwaf. So, with that, I'm just going to say, Call La Abba Nawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekak, Kwadash, Watha Wada, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekak, Kwadash. For putting the spirit on me my elder apostles elder bishops elders brothers on down for doing these epistles to enlighten you to inform you to edify you and uplift you through the power and spirit and words of yahweh bahashim yahweh shai may the blessing and election and protection be upon you and your household out of one rocks is out into the next one so with that i'm just gonna say shabbat shalom